Here is how to grab the current weather of a location in Python using tkinter and a free and open weather API. We start by importing tkinter for the GUI and the URL lib and JSON libraries for the API handling. Then we create a get weather function where we pass a city to. Inside here, we first define the geocoding API where we get the weather data from. In this URL, we set up the path for the API endpoint and pass things like a city, language, and format to it. We use this to grab the geo data of the past city because the API works with latitude and longitude for weather. In here, we open a try statement and use the with syntax to create a connection to the API using the URL lib request function where we pass this geo URL to. The response is an encoded JSON file we have to debunk using the decode, read, and JSON load functions, which gives us back the geodata of the inserted city. We now use these geodata to grab the latitude and longitude of the city's headquarters. Then we pass these two to another API endpoint to grab the weather data for these geodata. We use the same syntax as above, where we create a connection to the API and process the return JSON data, which we call weather data now. In here we can grab the current weather we want to show in our simple app. For example, we return here the current temperature and the weather code. If we haven't found a city, we just return city not found. If we face an error, we print it to the console using the accept block. That's the API part and is already working. But now let's round this up with a simple GUI. First, we create a function on submit. We trigger when we press a get weather button. In here, we try to get the entered city from the entry field we create soon. Then we say if we got a city back, we pass it to the get weather function and use the returned information to show it in a label. Else we show a warning to enter a city first. And then we create the simple TK inter GUI. We use the TK class to create the root window, where we first set a title and second the width and height using the geometry function. Then we work on our city entry. First, we create a label that says enter city. Second, we create the entry where we can type in the city. The next part is about the submit button. Here we create a button saying get weather, which runs the on submit using the command parameter when pressed. The last step is to show the data on the screen. Therefore, we create a label again with an empty text where the on submit function passes the data to. Close the main loop and we are ready to go. When we now enter a city and press get weather, the API first grabs the geo data for the city and then passes this data to the get weather API. And boom, we get the current temperature and the weather code. Since the weather code is not human readable, here is a short addition. We add the weather codes from the API as a dict and add these three lines in the get weather function where we can technically grab the weather code and then use it in a get function to read the value from the dictionary. Adjust it in the string and voila, run it again and enter a city. And as you see now, Berlin has bad weather as always. If you want